So I went ahead and took back off of our coil and shroud and everything because I want to test our, our coil and uh, make sure that this is actually in, in working condition. It is pretty rusty. So I took it off and I took it over to my bench grinder and I and I used the wire wheel and ground them pretty smooth. Then I got our kill tab nice and shiny there as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to test this and just make sure that it's testing okay. Um, just to rule that out and make sure that's not our problem. So we're going to start with uh, our ohms meter. We're going to go to the lowest setting and uh, we should have zero on our meter, which we do. So for the first test, what we do is we test between the kill tab and one of our armature coils here. Get this all held together. And this should read somewhere between 0.5 and 2.5 ohms, which we'll see depending where I put this. If I get a good bite on it. We're kind of jumping around a little bit. Here we got a 0.2. Goes the whole way up. Depending where I hit it, it goes pretty high. So I'm kind of wondering if we don't maybe have a coil problem. This side seems okay. This is a point. Oh, there's a point one. Point two, point one. So that's that's telling me that's a little bit low. That's kind of telling me that there might be a ground issue that's grounding our coil out. For next test, we take it up to 20k, and this one here we're going to test in our our lead. And we're going to test that back to one of our coils, our armatures. And that is supposed to read somewhere between 2,500 and 5,000, which we're right at 25, 25.4. There it went really low. Well, nope, there it went more in the middle. But I'm getting some inconsistent readings here on this coil, so I'm kind of wondering if it's not our coil, and I'm kind of wondering, well, there we had the 12. That was really high. I'm wondering if it's not our coil. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to try a test, and, and I wonder if it's not grounding out on itself is kind of what I'm wondering. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to disconnect this kill wire, and we're going to hook this back up and see if we get spark. If we get spark, then we know that our coil's bad. It's it's, a, it's internally grounding itself out, and we'll just have to get a new coil. But I want to see if we can uh, eliminate the problem and uh, kind of prove our point. 